Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the air entrant concrete. This is a special type of the concrete used to resist the freezing and thawing action. So it can be seen from the name that it is air entrant. It means the air bubble has been entrained intentionally into the concrete for the to increase the durability of the hardened concrete. This type of the concrete is specially used when the concrete is exposed to the freezing and thawing action. This type of the concrete also has less strength than the normal concrete but to increase the durability in the, in the uh, climates like where there is freezing and thawing action so you must have to place the air entrant concrete there. So the air entrant, let's consider that this is in concrete mixture with the fine aggregate, coarse aggregate, the cement particle and the water. This is the concrete mix and the air has been intentionally produced inside this concrete. So how we produce this air? We place the air entraining admixture inside into this concrete. Air entraining admixture has been placed air entraining admixture been put into this concrete mix and it produced the air bubbles inside the concrete. These small air bubbles are produced inside the concrete which are uniformly distributed and these air bubbles helps to resist the freezing and thawing action. Now I want to explain that how these air bubbles helps in resisting the freezing and thawing action. So let's consider this air bubble, this air bubble and this air bubble has been surrounded by the water particles. You can see here there, there are thousands and millions of water particles around this air bubble. Similarly there is another bubble and surrounded by other water particles. Another bubble and surrounded by water particles. So during the freezing of the concrete these water particles move into the air bubble and this air bubble provides the space to take the water particles. So during freezing of the concrete air bubbles move into this air water particles move into this air bubble and it takes all the water particles there and without producing the crack in the concrete. So if we don't have any air bubble inside the concrete, so what happens? These water particles don't have any space to move. So what happens? They will try to produce cracks inside the concrete. But if we have air bubbles, they will try to move inside to these air bubbles and it will help to be there while in freezing. So when it expands, these water particles will again move to their own position. So it helps in, in freezing and thawing of the concrete. It helps without creating the cracks. These, air, these water particles simply move into these air bubbles and during the expanding it comes out from these air bubbles. This is the main purpose of the air entraining admixture that it creates air bubbles inside the concrete and it helps in freezing and thawing action. And usually the amount of air bubble, the amount of air content, the amount of air content is 3 to 7 percent of the concrete. If this is 100 percent concrete, so usually if there is air entrant concrete, so it will have 3 to 7 percent of the air. And it's the general uh, general dosage of the air content inside the air entrant concrete. So the main purpose of the air entrant concrete is to increase the durability of the hardened concrete in an environment where it is exposed to the freezing and thawing action. However, the strength of the air entrant concrete is less than the normal concrete. But to increase the durability in the environment like in cold conditions where it's expected to have cold and warm condition, you must have to place the air entraining inside the concrete. We want to increase the durability although it reduces the strength of the concrete. But to have more cycle of the, to resist the more cycles of the freezing and thawing, we must have to place the air entraining admixture inside the concrete. Hope you guys understand that why we use the air entraining concrete and what is the purpose of the air entraining concrete. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily seven engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.